anything divided by zero is a meaningful form so anything divided by zero is zero now this is in the form a minus b a plus b which becomes a square minus b square so this is in the form of a cube minus b cube one cube is nothing but one so a cube minus b cube means a minus b a square plus a b plus b square Hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is your shruti ma'am lecturing in vidyashram the temple of excellence mysore so in our previous session we have learned what do you mean by the limit of a function and how to apply the limit of a function for different cases also studied about the meaningful form as well as the indeterminate form in today's session we will be evaluating the limits for different kind of functions so the very first problem here is evaluate the following limits limit as x tends to 1 x square plus 6x plus 4 so here you have three different function that is x square 6x and 4 so you have to apply the limit separately so here you can write it as limit x tends to 1 x square plus limit x tends to 1 6x plus limit x tends to 1 4 so this is how we are going to apply the limit separately whenever you have the sum or difference of a function so you directly apply the limit as well now take the value of x as 1 so here it is 1 square and 6 into 1 plus limit of a constant is always constant so therefore it is 4 the answer is 11 so you can directly write the step 1 square plus 6 into 1 plus 4 but the rule is we have to apply the limit separately whenever you have a sum or difference of functions is given next question apply the limit for the function x square plus 9 divided by x plus 3 as x tends to minus 3 now apply as minus 3 so this becomes minus 3 whole square Plus nine divided by minus three plus three. Minus three whole square is nine. Nine plus nine is eighteen by zero. Anything divided by zero is a meaningful form. So anything divided by zero is zero. So the value or the limit of this function is zero. Next question. Limit. For 4x square minus 1 divided by 2x minus 1, as x tends to 1 by 2. Now, if you apply here, I'll explain. You will get the form as 4 1 by 2 whole square minus 1 2 into 1 by 2 minus 1, whose value is 0 by 0. That is, gives rise to an indeterminate form. So. therefore what i'll do here is i'll expand this or i'll resolve this now this 4x square minus 1 is nothing but 2x square minus 1 divided by 2x minus 1 so here i'll write this as limit as x tends to 1 by 2 now this is in the form of a square minus b square so i can write this as limit as x tends to half a square minus b square means a plus b a minus b so this can be taken as 2x plus 1 2x minus 1 and in the denominator you have 2x minus 1 i can cancel 2x minus 1 2x minus 1 now if you apply the limit it will not be in an indeterminate form now apply the limit as x is equal to half so this is 2 into half Plus one, which get cancels, so one plus one is equal to two. So therefore, the limit of this function is two. Next question: Limit as x tends to three, three x square minus nine divided by x minus nine. Clearly, you can see if you put three here, three square minus nine is zero. Three minus three is also zero, which is of the form zero by zero. so therefore i'll remove the terms which is causing it to become an indeterminate form so what i'll do here is again x square minus 9 is in the form of a square minus b square i'll write it as a plus b a minus b that is x plus 3 x minus 3 whole divided by x minus 3 
So x minus 3, x minus 3 get cancelled. So it is limit x tends to 3, x plus 3. Now apply the limit as x tends to 3. So 3 plus 3 answer is 6. So therefore the limit of the function is 6. Next I have limit of a function x square minus 4x plus 3 divided by x square minus 2x minus 3 as x tends to 3. If you apply the limit as x tends to 3 here, the numerator 9 plus 3 is 12, 4 3 is 12. So 12 minus 12 is 0. Again here, 3 square is 9, 9 minus 3 is 6, 6 minus 6 is also 0. So this is also in the form of 0 by 0. Therefore, I will convert this quadratic equation into two linear factors that is by splitting into middle term. So if I split this, so the equation becomes x minus 3, x minus 1, x minus 3, x plus 1. So when you resolve this quadratic equation you will get these as factors now x minus 3 get cancelled substitute the limit as 3 then it is 3 minus 1 by 3 plus 1 that is equal to 2 by 4 which value is half or 1 by 2. Next question limit of function 3x square minus x minus 10 divided by x square minus 4 as x tends to 2 again if you apply x is equal to 2 the form is 0 by 0 form only. You can evaluate it by substituting. So again by splitting the middle term or by resolving the factors I will get this as limit as x tends to 2. So here 3x plus 5 into x minus 2. Again this is in the form of a square minus b square which is x plus 2 x minus 2. Now the term x minus 2 get cancelled, substitute as x is equal to 2. So this is 3 into 2 plus 5 divided by 2 plus 2, which is 6 plus 5 by 4, whose value equal to 11 by 4. So this is the limit of the given function. Next question is limit of the function root 1 plus x minus root 1 minus x divided by, if you put x is equal to 0 here, root 1 is minus 1. Minus root 1 is also 1, 1 minus 1 is 0, denominator is also 0. So this is of the form 0 by 0, which is an indeterminate form. So here, this is a rational or third form. Let us rationalize it. Consider the function 1 plus x minus root 1 minus x divided by x. Now let us rationalize it with the numerator. The conjugate of this numerator is root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x whole divided by root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x. Now this is in the form a minus b a plus b which becomes a square minus b square. So therefore root 1 plus x whole square becomes only 1 plus x. Now again minus root 1 minus x whole square becomes 1 minus x divided by here it is x into root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x. Now solve this. So 1 plus x minus 1 plus x divided by 1 and minus 1 get cancelled x root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x. Now this becomes x plus x is 2x so here x into root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus 6. So x and x cancels. So this function is left with 2 divided by root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus 6. So here I will apply the limit as x tends to 0 for this resolved factor that is 2 divided by root 1 plus x plus root 1 minus x. Now apply the limit as x tends to 0. So this becomes 2 divided by root 1 plus 0 plus root 1 minus 0. 
which is root 1 again whose value will be equal to 2 divided by 1 plus 1 which is 2 divided by 2 cancels and it is equal to 1. So the limit of this function is equal to 1. Next question the same applications can be applied here. So consider root 2 minus x minus root 2 plus x divided by x multiply with the conjugate of this that is root 2 minus x plus root 2 plus x divided by root 2 minus x plus root 2 plus x. Now this becomes 2 minus x minus of 2 plus x becomes 2 minus x whole divided by x into root 2 minus x plus root 2 plus x. Now 2 minus 2 get cancelled minus 2x divided by x into root 2 minus x plus root 2 plus x. x x get cancelled you are left with this factor. Now apply the limit for that factor limit as x tends to 0. In place of this you can replace it by 2 divided by root 2 minus x plus root 2 plus x. Now apply the limit as x tends to 0 in the equation. So this become 2 divided by root 2 minus 0 plus root 2 plus 0. x value is taken as 0. So here it is minus 2 because you have minus outside. Now root 2 plus root 2 becomes 2 root 2. So minus 2 divided by 2 root 2. 2 and 2 get cancelled. The value of the function is minus 1 divided by root 2. So the value is equal to minus 1 divided by root 2. Next, limit as x tends to 1, 1 divided by x square plus x minus 2 minus x divided by x cube minus 1. So if you apply here 1, so it is 1 by 2 minus 2, so 0 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1. Again it is in the form of 1 by 0 which is infinity minus 1 by 0 which is infinity, infinity minus infinity form. So therefore an indeterminate form. Let us convert this now. We are going to write the factors of this. So this is 1 divided by x plus 2 x minus 1 and here x is as it is x minus 1 you can take and x square plus x plus 1. So this is in the form of a cube minus b cube. 1 cube is nothing but 1. So a cube minus b cube means a minus b, a square plus a b plus b square. So now here we have x minus 1 as a common factor. So limit x tends to 1 take 1 by x minus 1 outside. So you are left with the factors x plus 2 and x square plus 1 which will comes in the denominator. And cross multiply with the terms the numerator becomes x square plus x plus 1 and here you have minus x into x plus 2. Now solve it limit as x tends to 1 x square plus x plus 1 minus x square minus 2x divided by it is x minus 1 x plus 2 x square plus x plus 1 plus x square minus x square get cancels. So limit as x tends to 1 x minus 2x is minus if you take minus as a common factor then it is x minus 1 in the numerator. So in the denominator you are left with the factors x minus 1, x plus 2, x square plus x plus 1 cancels. Apply the limit for the given function. So limit as x tends to 1. Here you have the value minus 1 divided by so x plus 2 x square plus x plus 1. Apply the limit as 1 now minus 1 divided by 1 plus 2 and here it is 1 square plus 1 plus 1. So this is 3 into 3 minus 1 by 9. 
So this is the value of the given limit. So this is how we are going to evaluate the limits by substituting the value of x closer to the given value and we are going to find the limit of a function. We'll meet you in the next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.